This week, I'm going to build a fire-breathing jack-o'-lantern. I probably don't need to say this, but this is a dangerous project. So if you're going to attempt to duplicate this, please be careful. If you don't pay enough attention, you're going to get burned. <laughs> the heart of this project is a Glade automatic fragrance sprayer. It takes these little refill spray cans. You're also going to need an Arduino and an ultrasonic ping sensor. To see how this thing works, first open it up, then put in the refill can. Turn on the power switch. Once the light flashes three times, it'll spray. After that, it'll go based on the timer setting. Let's see if we can use this to make our jack-o'-lantern breathe fire. And it works. That's because if you look at the label, you can see it contains acetone. And we're going to tap into this button down here. Pressing the button allows you to manually release a quick burst. You can see here how the motor would push down on the nozzle. Let's get rid of that cover. Just press on the tab, and it comes right off. Now we need to remove the three screws that hold on the top cover. These screws are a triangular shape, but if you have a flat screwdriver that's just the right size, you can get them off using that. Once the screws are removed, we can just pull the cover right off. This reveals the circuit board. Let's pop out the batteries, and then take off the circuit board. Now let's cut the button wires. We want to leave them long. Then we're going to strip the ends of the wire. We only need the wire that goes to the spot labeled manual. The other one just goes to ground. When the switch wire is tied to ground, it'll spray. Now we'll cut the battery ground wire and the green battery power wire. We'll strip the ends of those. Then I fed the wires through here and out the mounting hole in the back. This will allow me to access them once it's back together. Put the switch back on, then the cover. We'll screw the cover back in, and then replace the outer cover. Now I've got our power, ground, and switch wires easily accessible. Next I soldered some longer wires onto these to make them easier to use. I used some heat shrink tubing to protect them. Now I've got a red power wire, a black ground wire, and a white switch wire. I conveniently carved this jack-o'-lantern earlier. I bought a big pumpkin because the sprayer is so tall, but you can see that even with the size of this pumpkin, the sprayer still doesn't line up with the mouth. To fix that, I carved a hole in the bottom of the pumpkin. This allows me to set the sprayer lower. Just set it right in the hole, and now you can see how it lines up much better. Now's a good time to upload the code to the Arduino. By default, the code is configured to shoot fire whenever someone walks less than 5 feet in front of the pumpkin, but greater than 3 feet. That way if someone walks too close, it shouldn't go off. I'm going to mount the ping sensor onto the front of the pumpkin using some small nails. They just press right in like push pins. Then I'll tuck the wires underneath. Next I mounted the Arduino on the back just like the ping sensor on the front. Then I plugged in all the wires according to the comments at the top of my Arduino sketch. I used a 5 volt wall wart to power this thing. Here's what it looks like when it's done. Once the Arduino is plugged in and powered on, you need to make sure to power on the dispenser. Remember that once it's turned on, it's going to spray every 36 minutes. Here's where it gets dangerous. Light a small candle and place it in the mouth. It needs to be close enough to the sprayer that it can ignite. Let's give it a test. It works! How about in the dark? 
That looks really good. And that's how I built a fire-breathing jack-o'-lantern. Please don't try this at home unless you're willing to take the risk. You don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to hurt anybody else. And don't forget to like or subscribe, and have a happy Halloween!